Going Camping with Joey Dubois is sponsored by Ron Sayer Auto Group. Skyline Grizzlies are the two-time reigning 4A state champions. Another title this year would give them the first three-peat in program history. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. The possibility of another state title isn't weighing on the Grizzlies. You, you can't go in thinking about, you know, three P. We're keeping each other accountable, so I don't think there's any pressure for it just because we hold ourselves to a high standard, and so it's like anything that we put in in the offseason, it should show on the field, and I'm confident in that. There's no selfishness on this team. We all work together. We all have the same goals, so I think we'll, we'll be all right. The Grizzlies are led by four-star wide receiver and Oregon commit Kenyon Sadiq. He announced his college decision earlier this week. It's a dream come true. Ever since fourth grade, I've wanted to be a dog. There was a, there was a point in time where he first moved here, and me and QB1 Lachlan Hackey, um, we, we were talking to him, and he was like, Oregon would be so sick to go to. I love Oregon so much, and we were all like, yeah, it's awesome area, blah, blah, blah. And then we, when he didn't have him on his top three, we were like, what the heck? And then it all came together, and we were like, that's awesome. Realizing that, you know, what I've accomplished and uh, everything, I'm just super grateful for, like, these guys, like, encouraging me, pushing me every day, getting me there. He's just a good young man, and I, I you know, it, of course he's a great football player, but he's a good person, too. In week three, the Grizzlies play the Thunder Ridge Titans, and Coach Berger will face off against his son, Michael, for the first time with both father and son serving as head coach. There's other people, but, you know, we just try to play it one one game at a time, and you know we always talk about the most important game is the one coming up. So, you know, of course I'm gonna gonna be excited about playing against him, but uh, it, it it'll be fun. When you've won two in a row, the goal for year three is self-explanatory. My goal is to keep everyone accountable and help them reach their goals. So that's a big one, and then win a state championship. State championship, state championship. I mean, we'll do one game at a time, as Burge always says. We don't care about any other game, but the game we played this week, so we'll keep going with that mentality and hopefully get to that state championship game. Then we got Coach Berger mic'd up. Remember, the call's the call's the call, okay? So here we go. Do it with some violence. Do it with violence. There you go. Intensity. Do it hard. Do it hard. See, you should be able to do this good because you're a wrestler. Oh, what the call is. Know where the weaknesses are. Got that? Good. How many of us right now pass and we just go right down the middle of them? Oh, Captain Caveman. Oh, no. Work off a shoulder tip. Get his hands off you. Coach, let's do some pursuit. Give me a rabbit. Let's go. Chop it. Hey, love, you better catch you. Backside, backside, backside. Hey, love, get there, buddy. Pride. Pride. Now, but hey, hey, quarterback's going to be in there, so now you want to get that good body lead in that. Okay. Your hip has his hip. Point that toe. Pride. Pride. Finally, we asked the Grizzlies some funny questions. What's your pregame meal? Um, peanut butter and toast. I always have Skittles before every game. It's Skittles or McDonald's. Every day I show up, me and QB1, we get a white monster, chocolate milk, and that's about it. Maybe some donuts that morning, I don't know. What's your pregame song? Alibis, Tracy Lawrence. Shoot, I always like, this is Giveon. Uh, any any song to give you on the pregame. We like to calm down. A yeah, bit. calm down. I'm not super hype type. Like uh, like I'm not like the Travis Scott thing. I'm like just kind of slowed down music. That's not nothing. Nothing really hypes me up. Um, I listen. I listen to instrumental music before, before games. Strongest guy on the team. Kobe Trejo. Probably Eric. He's new from Perth. He's he's a strong big guy. Obvious answer is Eric. But I'm gonna go with the dark horse, Casey Smith. Who's the fastest guy on the team? Fastest guy on the team? Mm. Me. <laughs> Either a bronze Silverio or, or Kenyon Sadiq. Quickest guy on the team, Caden Taggart. <laughs> Me, I guess. I don't, or Jake Ward out of the corner. Funniest guy on the team? Ian Galbraith. Jorge Cortez, because he thinks he can guard us. Adon Costas. He, he's a good ball. Can never get the brakes right. Always messing things up. Who's the best looking guy on the team? Uh, Lachlan Hackey. Uh, QB1. Lachlan Hackey. Everybody's going to say it, but 
Once again, I'm going QB1 lock on hockey, but my dark horse is Ian Galbraith. The Grizzlies kick off in the Rocky Mountain Rumble against Stansbury.